my name's Kale. I created the website relationship-anarchy.com and I wanted to create some videos to supplement the things we talk about on that site. So this is my very first video. I hope you enjoy it. What I wanted to talk about today was non-monogamy. And right before I get into that, I'm just going to really quickly talk about monogamy. The definition for monogamy used to be being married to one person for your entire lifetime, which obviously that's a little outdated and we don't consider that the only form of monogamy anymore because these days you can marry more than one person in your lifetime or not get married at all, but still be monogamous. There are many different types of monogamy. For example, marital monogamy, which could look like marrying your high school sweetheart and being together until death do you part. There's social monogamy, which could be living with someone and sharing things like rent and bills and groceries, but never getting married. Or there's serial monogamy, which is having one relationship after another where they don't overlap. So the thing that these all have in common is a person usually has only one sexual partner at a time. Now that I've got that covered, let's move on to non-monogamy. When I talk about non-monogamy, I'm talking about ethical and consensual non-monogamy, which is really important. It's not cheating, that's something totally different and not what we're gonna talk about today. One kind of non-monogamy that's probably the most common is casual dating. When people are casually dating, they're seeing more than one person at a time and maybe sleeping with those people, maybe not, but that's technically a form of non-monogamy. Open relationships are a type of non-monogamy. The term open relationship can mean a lot of different things to different people. So I won't try to explain all the different possible configurations here. I'll just give a few examples so you get an idea. Generally, it's when a couple is open to and consenting having relationships outside of that couple. For example, there could be two people who are involved and they bring a third person into their relationship. What can often happen in this case is the two people will consider themselves primary partners and the person joining the relationship is a secondary. This isn't something that happens for everyone, but it does happen sometimes. It's called having a hierarchy. An arrangement or classification of things according to relative importance or inclusiveness. I have some opinions on hierarchies. It's not something I do, and I'm going to talk about that in later videos, but that's definitely a style that you see in these types of relationships. Another type of open relationship is when someone seeks a partner or partners on their own and they maintain that relationship independent of their partner. Swinging is probably one of the better known forms of non-monogamy. This is when a couple consents to exchange partners with another couple for sex. It could be really casual, like a one-time hookup at a sex party, or it can be deep and intimate and lasting decades and include family vacations and holidays together. Monogamish is another form of non-monogamy. This is a term that was coined in 2011 by Dan Savage of Savage Love fame. Monogamish couples tend to present as monogamous, but they consent to some level of sexual activity outside the relationship. They'll create rules based on what they're comfortable with. For example, it might be okay to smooch a hottie at a party that you see, or have a one-time only encounter with someone, or maybe when you're on the road for work, a hookup's okay in that case. The thing that these have in common is they don't really allow for deep, intimate bonds to form because these couples are still primarily monogamous. The last two forms of non-monogamy I want to talk about are polyamory and relationship anarchy, but those are topics that I really want to geek out about and talk about, so I'm going to give them each their own video if you want to check those out. Thanks for watching my first ever video. Down below I'll post links to Facebook and Twitter if you want to stay in touch that way. And thanks for watching. Bye!